in order to subscribe to my channel please click here or click here please share comment and like my videos and channel hello guys welcome to SAS with ServiceNow this is ServiceNow system administrator training and this is part number five this training has been recorded in Orlando version of ServiceNow before I start the training let me show you the topics of this complete training In this part of the training, we will talk about notifications in ServiceNow. Notifications. In this section, we will learn about how ServiceNow platform sends notification to users on different events. How you can manage users notification. How can you create a new notification? And we will also learn about inbound actions outbound and inbound when records are created updated or any event is generated service now can send notifications to the users configured in those notifications service now send a notification which is received by a user and this is called outbound notification for example incident is assigned to a group then all group members will get email notification about the assignment of the ticket in their queue users can also respond to the email received or create new email and send it to service now which can basically perform some action on the records of table which is called inbound action as an example users can mark an email to your instance email address and ServiceNow can process that email and create incident record and populate the fields as per the information mentioned in the email notification application ServiceNow provides an out-of-the-box module for managing notifications you can create and manage different types of notifications with this module let's see the notification application in my personal developer instance you need to go to application navigator and type system notification you will find this system notification application this application has three different sections for different modules email which has modules related to email notifications then we have push which has modules related to mobile push notifications and lastly we have provider in which you have modules to configure notifications for agent workspace and virtual agent which are separate applications of service now if you want to get more details about these applications then please refer service now documentation site the first module in email section we have is digest intervals in which you can define the intervals for digest email functionality email digest is used to reduce the number of emails sent to the users for specific notifications in a given time period if digest email is selected then instead of sending multiple notifications whenever notification conditions are met users will only receive a single notification which is sent in a specific time period and that time period you can mention here digest email content is also different from standard notification and it can be configured separately then you can see notifications module which shows the list of notifications of your instance 
these are all out of the box notifications you will also see a new button at the top and you can create new notification with the help of this button next module we have is notification email scripts which shows the list of email scripts for notifications these are all out of the box email scripts we will learn about mail scripts later part of the training then we have notification categories service now has created out of the box categories for notifications and also provided option to select category for various notifications on notification form this is basically helps to identify your different notifications in the instance and this module shows the list of categories which are out of the box and you also have this new button so if you want to create new category for your different notifications you can do that as well then we have templates this module shows the list of all email templates created for different notifications email templates are basically reusable content for subject and message body servicenow admins can create these templates and use them in different notifications then we have notification filters this module shows list of filters for notifications users can filter the notifications by applying them in notification preference you can click on settings button at the right top then you will see this pop up you have to click on notification once you will click on notification you will see these option so you have to select any any kind of notification maybe for it service management once you will click that you will find multiple notification for that module and you can just click on maybe this particular notification and click again then you will see to apply some conditions now in conditions you have an option to select the filter and here we have critical issues filter and we also have unsubscribe filter which are basically available in our list so users can basically apply these filters to get the notifications accordingly and lastly we have in email section as email access restriction this module shows the rules created to restrict access of email notifications when email is sent from service now it creates a log in service now i will show you quickly so just go to emails if you type emails under system logs you will see this emails this is the module which shows the logs of the email sent if i just click on all because as of now it has already applied a filter for all emails of today but this will remove the filter and will show all the emails which were sent from this instance so you have this list of emails sent or received in your instance so if you want to restrict access to specific types of notifications like password emails approval emails then you can apply those rules and then notifications will be only visible to the users mentioned in the rules we also have other modules for push notification and the other one is just for provider where you configure for agent workspace and virtual agent out of the box notifications service now also has out of the box notifications configured for existing modules and applications provided by service now like incident notifications change notifications problem management notifications or request notifications 
ServiceNow admins can edit existing notifications or they can create new notifications. You can access notifications via module notifications under system notification. And the table where all these notifications are stored is sys event underscore email. So this is the table sys event underscore email underscore action. So that's the name of the table in which all these notifications are stored. Notification form. ServiceNow admins can create new notifications. So let's talk about the fields used to configure these notifications. Starting with the first field we have is name. You need to provide the name of your notification in this field. Then we have table. You need to select the table for which notification needs to be sent like incident table, problem table, change table or request table and many more. Category. You can define the category of your notifications and ServiceNow has out of the box categories as well like service catalog, approvals and some categories which are based on the modules. Notification form has three important sections which basically drives the whole notification. The first section we have is when to send where you define the condition when the event should trigger and notification should be sent. Then we have who will receive section where you define who all are the recipients of the notification. And the last section we have is what it will contain. In this section, you have fields to define content you want to send via this notification. You can mention subject, message body and some other elements for your notification. Let's see the fields of this section. In the first section, when to send, you have a field called send when. In this field, you need to mention when notification will be sent. So there are three options available in this particular field. When record is inserted or updated. And when this option is selected, notifications will be sent based on insert or update of record, whichever is checked as we have two other fields updated and inserted. The second option is event. When this option is selected, then you also need to select the event and notifications are sent when selected event is triggered in the instance. ServiceNow developers and admins can create this event via scripting. A last choice of this field is triggered, which is triggered via flow designer. Next section is who will receive. In this section, you have fields like users, groups and user group field. As you know, you need to define recipients of the notification in this section. So you can select individual users in users field, individual groups in group field and select the field of user and group on the form and table for which notification is created. We have one more field called subscribable. So if you want to make the notification subscribable, that means users can subscribe for your notification, then you can check the checkbox of this field. And that is subscribable. Last section we have is what it will contain. In this section, we have fields like content type in which you select type of your message content like HTML, plain text, or HTML and plain text. Then we have include attachments, which will send all attachments in the email of the record if checked. Omit watermark. ServiceNow can create a random alphanumeric code and add it at the bottom of every email notification. 
and show it as watermark for every email notification. If this field is checked, the no watermark will be added in the notification. Push message only. We talked about mobile app in service now. When a notification is created, it basically is sent as an email and also sent as a push notification on the mobile app. If this option is checked, then email notification will not be sent and the notification will only be used for pushed notification. Importance. You have option to send email with importance as high or low. And that's what you can select in this field. From field. By default, email is sent from ServiceNow with email address, which is instance name at servicenow.com. However, if you want any email address of your organization, then you can add that in this particular field. And users will get the notification from that email for this particular notification which you are creating. Reply to. You can also put if you want users to reply to any other email. Then you put that email address in this field. Else same email from which user received email will be used for reply to. Push messages. Push messages are the content for mobile notifications. You can create them separately and select in this field. Email template. The content of the email can send in two ways. One is you directly mention it in the field like subject and message HTML. Or you can also create templates and select them to send the notification. And the last thing we have on the form is preview notification button. So once you are done with creation of notification, you can preview it and see how notification will be displayed to the user on the email. Let's see the notification form and create a new notification. You need to click on this new button. Once you will click on this new button, you will be able to see the new notification form. And you will see the fields which we were talking about. Here, provide a name for the notification which you are going to create. So I will give it a name as notify on priority changes to P1. We will select the table and I will select incident table. We are going to create this notification for incident table. I'm going to leave a category as it is for now. Then I will go to first section that is when to send. Now here we will select send when and I will keep this option add as it is, but you can still see other options like event is fired triggered. And I will just click on update it. I don't want to do it for inserted. Here, I will put the condition. Now condition, you have to select the fields. So here I will select priority changes to critical. Now this is when to send. So th this is the condition that when exactly the system should send the notification. Then I will go to the next section that will say uh, who will receive. Here I will select a user. So maybe I will expand it first. I will open it and I will select a random user. Maybe this one. I will select a group. I will select maybe cab approvals. This is just for example, just a demo. And I also have this user groups and fields. Now if you will expand this, you will see all the fields where basically you have the data related to user or a group. 
you will still see other fields but that is something you don't have to select so you can select maybe caller you can select assignment group you can select assign to that is what you can select and close this and just click on save you are done notification is created is it no you still need to mention the body the content what exactly the content you want to send while sending the, the, the while sending this notification so you will go to the third section that is what it will contain here you will see we have this email template and we also have message HTML that means your body body of the email and then we have subject we will click on this advanced view if you will click on this advanced view you will see the same fields which we were talking about so now you see more fields in the same section I don't have to select any any other field right now so I will just give here subject so priority pri I will just mention the priority increased priority change to p14 now here you have to put the incident number and that should be dynamic you can't make it static so in that case service now gives you an option here and here you can select the field value so if you will select number it will be pasted here you have to just copy or cut from here and then you can paste here now as of now it's kind of a variable dollar number now but when email will be sent it will automatically put the number of that particular incident record so in that case I will put it again here in the body because I need it so I will mention hi priority of change to p1 that's it I will save it now now you are done with the creation of this notification you don't need to make any other settings until unless you have some you want to add some additional features so in that case you are done with your notification now we will test this notification so for that I will go to incident management application so here I have incident application and I will just try to open existing incidents so we'll open the list of existing incident and wherever priority is low maybe accept critical because that's what we want as part of the condition so maybe we will have this one and I will just click here it is I think we just clicked on the critical one we don't want critical we want accept critical so we will click on maybe this one here it says planning it's very very low as a, as a use case I can tell you that this notification will be helpful that if somebody changes the priority you want to send the notification to important people to concerned stakeholders in that case you can add them in the recipients so here if I change it to high and high now this will automatically change the priority to critical uh, as of now I don't have any assignment group I will just select any one assignment group and maybe I will select assign to as well and I will save this I have to mention something in this mandatory field work note so before I save it I have to put something here so I will just do test for now and I will save this so priority is now changed to p1 it is saved in your database and you will see system will also send the notification and if I reload it let's see if email is created maybe I will show you in the logs in emails logs so we have this emails and you can see we have this notification priority changes to p1 for this 
that's great that means you got the notification so this email was sent and who are the recipients these are the recipients you can see it was sent to cab approval fred ludi who was the caller and assignment group and assigned to as well the person in assigned to so in that case if i open this you can also see it in the email logs of incident record that is an activity stream so here we have this priority this was another notification you can see we also have another notification and here we have which we just created if you click on this button it will expand it and then you can see the body of the email as well now what exactly you see in the body so you see the message which we just pasted in our notification but you also see these two options what are they now this one is basically for unsubscribe and notification preference button so that users can directly route to their notification preference if they want to change anything unsubscribe is something if they don't want to get this kind of notification they can click on unsubscribe and they will not get this notification and now at the very bottom you have this reference number now this is alpha numeric code which i was talking about that's a random number and that is referred as watermark watermark of every email notification for a particular racket now one of the important feature i can tell you for watermark is so for example if somebody responds to this email address to this email which was sent to the user how service now will know that this email has to be updated in this particular racket the service now will know about it with the help of this watermark you can definitely update some conditions as part of the inbound actions which we will learn a little bit later but this is really helpful so that system can recognize that which particular record i have to update this notification email script you can also add custom scripts in your notifications to make the content of notification more dynamic this is the module which is showing the list of email scripts used in different notifications and these are all out of the box email scripts once email script is created you can mention them in the message body and content will be sent as per the data pulled from mail script or whatever code you have written that is how your notification will be sent the syntax of adding email script in the message body is dollar and you start with curly braces mail underscore script that is something you have to mention then equal to and then you have to provide name of your email script you created inbound email action service now can create or update records as per the email received from external users to service now email address of the instance this is the module of inbound action under system policy service now admins can configure inbound action for different tables to create or update records of those tables when email is received let me show you the form of inbound action and its fields name you can provide the name of your inbound action in this field then we have target table you need to select the table for which inbound action is needed like incident table change table problem table then you have action type here you have to select the type of action needed when email is received and condition is matched you can select to perform some action or to return with a response from service now that means once email is received you can select the type whether you want to do some action you want to take some action once email is received or you want to just respond back to the user on the same email once email is received then you have stop processing if no other inbound action should run after processing of current inbound action then you can select this check box inbound action also depends on two sections 
the first section we have is when to run where you need to put the condition and configure when inbound action can trigger the condition and the second tab is actions where you can mention that action what action is needed once condition is matched however this can be done via scripting and you can see a script field so let's see fields of these two sections in the first section we have type so as you know we have three types of emails new email reply email and forward email we can trigger the inbound action on the basis of this type of option then you have required roles generally anyone can send email and you can trigger inbound actions however if you want sender email should have a specific role to trigger inbound action you are going to create that is something you can mention here execution order you might have multiple inbound actions on same table system will prioritize the processing of inbound action as per the execution order lowest number will be processed first from you can also select the user to trigger this inbound action and then we have conditions in this field you need to mention the conditions of email elements and some system fields in another tab that is action you can define the action to be performed when condition will be met so you can see the field called script and here you can mention what kind of action you want to take once condition is matched whatever you have mentioned in when to run inbound action is found under system policy so if you will type in application navigator inbound actions under system policy under email section you will find inbound actions if you click on that you will see the list of inbound actions the list of inbound actions you have in your instance and if you click this new button you will be able to create new inbound action here we have options you can see new reply forward action type you can also see the conditions now in conditions these are not some kind of tables in your system these are the conditions for elements you have your these are the conditions for the elements you have in your email like it will search for some keywords it will look for bcc blind copied it will look for body so you can mention that condition body text checkpoint content type copied created when exactly it was to that is something you can see headers as well importance whether there is if you you have any kind of importance in the email mailbox notification type receive type that is something you can mention and then that's how system will take the action now these fields which i am showing you right now these are the fields of your email table if i go here and type emails so these are the fields which we are talking about so if i click table you will see all those fields so anyhow that condition you have to mention as part of this table but mostly the elements are from the message that means from the email so this is how you can configure inbound actions in service now